All right, Michael, how did you feel when you signed for United? Well, I was delighted when I first uh, got the call from the manager to, to um, potentially come and, and sign for, for a great team like uh, Man United. So it was um, quite a busy summer. I was talking to different people, and, um, but all them talks quickly uh, stopped once the, the manager um, gave me a call and I met him the following morning and everything was, was wrapped up quite quick. What was your first day at Manchester United like? Meeting the, f the players for the first time is always a little bit nerve-wracking and, and obviously training for the first time, but um, the players have made me feel welcome. I feel as if I've been here years already. How did you feel before your debut for United? When you play your first real competitive game, it's always always a nice feeling. When you were little, what did you want to be? Oh, there's no question. As, as long as I can remember back, um, and even my mum and dad say even when I was one and two and walking, I always had a ball under my arm. So. There was nothing else I was going to be but a footballer. Are you ready for this, Michael? If you could have a favourite superpower, what would it be? A superpower? Oh, that's a good question. Um, probably another couple of gears when, you, when you're running, I think. I think speed, pace is, uh, is very influential uh, now in, in the game. So um, to have another a gear or two to be able to run past that last defender would probably be my, uh, my superpower. Michael Owen, what was the naughtiest thing you did at school? I don't know. I've, I've, I think I smashed a window before playing with the, uh, well, playing, shooting, hitting the football, probably missed the target and smashed a window and um, got told off for that. That was probably the worst thing I did. If you weren't a football player, what do you think you would be? I'd probably like to think I could be a jockey or a, or a golfer or something like that if I wasn't a, wasn't a footballer. If you had to take part in one of these programmes, Michael, which one would it be? Strictly Come Dancing, X Factor or Master Chef? The chef one, I mean, I wouldn't know how to, to cook a meal to save my life, so, uh, but I wouldn't know how to dance or sing, to be honest, so I'd be useless at them all, but I'd probably want to go on the, on the chef programme then. Do you have any pretty much superstition? I try not to be superstitious, and I'm, I don't believe that it helps in any way, but I think most people are superstitious just in case uh, something happens. Um, so I always tie my right boot first, put my right shin pad on first, and some things like that, so. Um, and I tend to come out sort of last, second to last in the in the uh, the queue. Not as I say, not that I think it's going to make me play any better, but I'm just scared if I break the routine, then something bad might happen. Who is your favourite football player of all time? I think uh, Gary Lineker was probably the was my hero as a kid, and uh, I looked up to him. Yeah.